This is Dave Stoblin. We're doing some math, some matrix math, math actually. And let's say we have this figure that is represented by the points A, B, C, D, and E. Um, and here are the coordinates. Each of these coordinates and this figure can be represented in a 2 by 5 matrix where the rows represent the x's and y's and the columns represent each point. And what we're going to do in this lesson is take this figure and reflect it over the x-axis. If we do that, some of these points remain in the same spot. Point A stays in the same spot, so A prime is 0, 0. Point B stays in the same spot, so B prime is 8, 0. And that's because those points are on the line of reflection. Point C, instead of being up 5, goes down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so this point, C prime, becomes 8, negative 5. And then point D, 5, 5, becomes point D, and it's 5, negative 5. And then this point 3, 2, point E, becomes E prime, 3, negative 2. And then we can connect these lines, and we have the reflection of our figure over the x-axis. Now, what we want to do is we want to... Um, multiply our original pre-image matrix by a reflection over the x-axis matrix such that we get the figure in the new location which is 0, 0, 8, 0, 8, negative 5, 5, negative 5, and 3, negative 2. Now what I want you to notice here is that when we reflect over the x axis, all the x values remain the same, but the y values become negative. So if we have an xy coordinate and we reflect it over the x axis, we're basically taking the y value and, and changing the sign. All right, so we need to figure out what can we multiply this matrix by this reflection matrix to get our, our image matrix. So I'm just going to pick one of these values. I'm going to pick this element right there. That's element row 1, column 3. To get that, we have to multiply by row 1 of our mystery reflection matrix times row 3 of our pre-image matrix. And what we may notice is that because there's two numbers in this column, there have to be two numbers in this row. So mystery number, our mystery number here is multiplied times 8 and then this mystery number is multiplied by 5 and it needs to equal 8. So how can we fill in these mystery numbers so that this side of the equation equals 8? And what I see is if we do 1 and 0 that our equation is true. So this row of the matrix is 1, 0. Let's do the same thing now for um, this element which is row 2, column 3. And um, so we're going to do row 2, column 3. So we have a mystery number times 8 plus another mystery number times 5. And we need that to equal negative 5. So what numbers can we plug in here? I'm envisioning 0 and a negative 1. And now both sides of the equations are equal. And that is how we can figure out our reflection in the x-axis. All right, one more thing. If you have the uh, program in your calculator called Matplot, you can go into Matrix and edit the 2 by 5 matrix. This original one, our pre-image, is going to be Matrix A. And it's 2 by 5. We're going to put it in 0, 8, 8, 5, 3. And then the row is 0, 0, 5, 5, 2. And then um, I'm going to go into matrix and edit matrix B. Our reflection over the x-axis is going to be matrix B. And we want 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Okay, quit out of there. Now, if we go to program and run the matplot program, you will see the original image. You will That switches the pre-image. And then you'll see the image and we did reflect over the x-axis. You can use that same process to figure out all the other reflections.